Your journey through the darkness has brought you to land at last. Hold that! You can't just land and start unloading strangers. They're procedures, damn it! No one gets in without being tested. Commander Jahira's orders. We'll process this lot, but you need to come with me. The commander will want a word. The guard insists that you meet with their leader, a harper by the name of Jahira. Oh, but you ward something far more sinister than faith alone, don't you? An act of kindness or a clever decoy? Luckily, I know how to find out which. Is this true? What? Marcus. He's been with us from the beginning. Since, uh... When did you join us, Marcus? Jahira, come now. This one's parasite has dug a little too deep, eh? Maybe yours has as well. Enough of this. <laughs> the Absolute has given me many gifts already. <clears throat> She'll give me so much more when all of you are dead. You, most of all, will suffer for this blasphemy. Your life is mine, but in death, you will belong to the general. Lila Lo. in that corpse, brimming with potent magic. Be on the alert, Harpers. We haven't seen the last of Marcus yet. As for you, you exposed a true soul in our midst. You're no puppet of the Absolute, are you? Tell me, why have you come here? Then you found an ally in me. For that is precisely why I am here. Please, be welcome. Have a drink. To your very good health. This place is crawling with Harpers. If Marcus managed to get himself infected, we would have known the same minute. Is this some kind of test? Or a game, perhaps. You're quite serious, aren't you? Let's be discreet about this. If Marcus is what you say, there's no telling what kind of reinforcements he might be able to summon. All right. He's in Isabel's room upstairs. Play along with his ruse for now while I gather a few trusted harpers. But don't let him get his hands on Isabel. You did well bringing this to me. Thank you. I'm spreading word. Quietly. Go and flush Marcus out. Wait. 
you perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. A paralyzing agent? I do not think we're quite so far gone. Yet. You don't know what you're missing. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you, isn't it? But a river can flood and break its banks. If the parasite changes you, tries to break you, could you resist? We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. You were the one who rescued those the Absolute had imprisoned. You were courageous to brave the depths of Ketherick's stronghold. I suppose you know about Ketherick then. His invincibility. That we'll never cleanse this place until he's made to bleed. Once Ketherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Just be sure it doesn't make you leap before you look. I didn't realize I had an audience. Isabel, this is... The true soul who's going to save us all. Pleased to meet you. The urge deep within tingles. This is the one the butler commanded you to kill. You choke down the obscene thoughts racking your body with a shiver. Ha-ha. You're not serious, are you? Where's Marcus? Isabel, this is... Thanks for the introduction. Not a step closer, Marcus. I'm warning you. I don't know what your game is, but you can still redeem yourself if you follow my lead. My instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive. The Absolute sees all, you fool. The Absolute? Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. <laughs> he already has. Time to go, Isabel. Isabel, are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. You were right. You tried to warn me, but I was too stubborn to listen. It won't happen again. Now more than ever, you're our best hope of making it out of here alive. Isabel, this is... We've met. 
She warned me about Marcus just before the attack. I'll look after them, Chihira. You should check on the others. Remember what we discussed. Gatherick will strike again. We need you to strike first. I have something for you. Something that'll help you make it to the towers. It suits you. And better than that, it'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. Salunite magic. Dark Lady, forgive me. I might take that badly if you hadn't just saved my neck, Sharon. There's an acute sadness in her voice. It seems she's even more invested in this story than she'd like to admit. I found this on the wall when I arrived. It must be a hundred years old. Catherick, before he turned. This man, a Salunite, not unlike myself, had family, friends, and he abandoned them all to become a monster. I know Jahira narrowly escaped his grasp. Have you encountered him yet? Him, presiding over a court of law. What a joke. I'm glad you got out of there alive. That's more than many can say. Ketherick's lackeys found me already. Blast it all! You need to deal with him. Ketherick's forces are infiltrating this place. You've got to take the fight to them. The towers were here. Soot. Sulfur. Limestone. Dusted all over. Signature. Oh, joy. The true soul turned out to be a baddie after all. My lady. What is it? What the hell is this? Your tingling urge knows her face. This is the cleric Scalerita sent you to kill. Nice of you to show your colors, true soul. Jahira will be so disappointed she trusted you. I don't mind, though. I have been itching to gut a traitor. Ketherick's out of reach, but here you are, right within striking distance. Moon Maiden, guide my hand. for combat. No! What in the Nine Hells happened? A little spat. I can't believe I didn't see you for what you are. A murderer. You killed her. And in doing so, you've spelled our doom. I gave you my trust too easily. But with the same ease, I swear I'll strike you down. It's happening. They'll all be taken by the shadows. For a little while longer, you and I are destined to fight side by side. But if the shades don't take you, 
I have the next claim on your head. Until then, to battle. It is abominable that you still live. You who has cost us so much. The murderer of light. These dead need not be buried. Beneath this canopy of darkness, all is one yard of restless graves. You will lie and rot among them. Oh, but I do. I traveled with one such as you once. I didn't see it at first, but I do now. The galaxy of malice in your eyes. Your blood is beyond hope of redemption. May it water these accursed grounds and grow the sickly roses that will mark your grave. I should end you. But my strength fails me. Perhaps I can outrun the shadows. Even as I pray, they will creep into the very marrow of your bones. Whether the worm in your skull overwhelms you or not, your end will be a vile one. I must ask you something. First, let me make it clear that I do not object to the killing of Isabel or the loss of last light. But I do not understand why you killed the cleric. Sometimes I think you are quite mad. Other times I think you still hold on to a slim fragment of your sanity. I will be watching you and watching for this Butler, of yours as well. I see. The end does justify the means. Be that as it may, I would prefer if you informed me of your intentions before striking in future. 